this is a natural adjunct to the question that I've already asked you. Um, you are in your respective spaces. And then I, through Sham Sharma show, I think you come together and you have this very riotous time. And I've seen you people uh, reviewing the memes and all of that. But uh, on a serious note, in the Hindu, for want of a better phrase, the right Hindu right space right now, how do you align yourself? Where do you find yourself in that space? In that, uh, um, are you, you're definitely not what people would call Hindutva or, um, you're not, um, you know, BJP leaning or RSS leaning. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm struggling for the right words here. But where do you align yourself ideologically, if I could use that word, within the Hindu fold? Do I make sense? Yeah. Who do you want to let, Let's go in the same order. Sham, Kushal, right, I'll then. go first. I... I like to think of myself as Hindutva. I mean, I align mostly, most strongly with the ideology of Hindutva. And I like to see Indian society also move towards Hindutva. I think uh, uh, maybe not as much BJP aligned, even though, you know, BJP is basically the sort of only Hindutva game in town yeah. right now. Um, so I suppose that makes me BJP adjacent by uh, by default but primarily if I had to align myself with an ideology it would be it would be Hindutva definitely yes okay. well, my my case I say I'm a political Hindu political uh, and, Hindu okay. yeah I, in fact I had, I had recently done a long monologue on my podcast about to explain why I'm a political Hindu huh. so for me it's very clear I don't hide my position leaning I I am an open BJP voter I, who says I sympathize with RSS. Mm. Uh, uh, I criticize their economic policy, but I understand their social worldview. Um, mm. As far as the BJP is concerned, I have no other option. As they say in Hindi, nanga naega kya, nichodega kya. So, mere paas koi option nahi, main ke BJP ko vote karta hu. So, that's, but my personal identity, as you know, a lot of times people get confused. Like you call yourself a Charvaka, then why do you call yourself a Hindu? Well, mm. I am also as much part of this civilization and this culture. Absolutely. Like, yeah, so my materialism did not get exported. You know, it's not like Epicurus one day traveled to India and said, there is materialism. You know, we we existed way before him also. So that is also, if you are a civilizationalist, which I am, then, then you automatically associate with the civilizational raison death. Identity. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I go <laughs> into that camp. So... I you will sort Would of people you say, get Kushal, that that aligns with sort of the Hindutva ideology because that's yes. what that ideology espouses yes. too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would be my answer. So I will find mistakes in BJP, in RSS, in 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 current political discourse in many ways, but that doesn't change the fact that if I put all my chips on the table and I look at the larger picture, I know where I'm going. It. Mm. it it doesn't mean that I am this or that. I can be wherever I want to. Personally, I am a fierce individualist. I lean very libertarian in my personal thought. I just like to be left alone. That's my thing most of the time. But at the same time, I understand why India is a civilizational state and why for this country and this culture to survive, we need a political response. And I think that uh, political Hinduism is the only way forward in at least in my understanding for the future you're right i mean uh, just because you're uh, an individualist just because you have your own views about certain things or a libertarian for, uh, for that matter doesn't make you a non-hindu a lot of people don't understand that i think a lot of people need to still come around to that point of view that just because you know if you're hindu then you need to be uh, you need to be a very pious uh, you can also be that. That's the beauty of it, right? You can be this and you can be that. Uh, coming to you, Abhijit Ji, um, what about you? So, you know, I started off as a hardcore communist. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I wanted to join the KGB as a kid. Mm -hmm. I hated uh, the American global empire. Uh, I wanted global revolution and whatnot. And, you know, invariably what happened was puberty set in and I grew up. Mm -hmm. So uh, I uh, kind of turned to the right once I grew and up. And you took to dance. Uh, <laughs> and I took to dance as yes. well. <laughs> so, so what happens is that uh, it was just one of those things where when you get rid of the mumbo jumbo and the jargon, mm -hmm. 
When you focus on the bare essentials, you find that conservative economics is just much more grounded in reality than hope-based left-wing economics. See, it sounds very good. It ticks all the boxes. It's very touchy-feely, but it's a disaster in real life. You know, there's a reason that even before communism was invented, they said that the path to hell is paved with good intentions. Uh, uh, if you if you condense that into one word, it's called socialism. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's kind of like that. So what happens is it started off with the uh, economic conservatism. And then what happened was, you know, I, I was truly blessed in that coming from being in a third world country, coming from an intercaste marriage with, you know, multiple marriages of both my parents uh, and being gay. It was never an issue in India. It's like, what, you want an award or something? Uh, so, you know, it's like, uh, I, I thought I was special. I'm going to have this heroic stand against <laughs> homophobia. Gonna... <laughs> like, yeah, so everybody was like, yeah, okay, so what? <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's like it endears you to your own culture because, you know, it's a very accepting... Uh, uh, yes, are, are there bad aspects to it? Of course there are. Tell me one religion that doesn't have a bad aspect to it. But overall, the overwhelming majority of it is extremely accepting of whatever you do. You know, being weird in India is a good thing. I mean, you look at Mirabai. Yeah. Uh, she, yeah. She's like... Uh, how, much, she, she, how much more weird can you be, right? I mean, how much more naked. weird can you be? <laughs> right. I mean, how much... Uh, look at Krishna. Krishna is like the naughtiest. He's like Dennis the Menace on steroids kind of thing. <laughs> right. Uh, and, and his mother, you know, there's that in Carnatic music, you have uh, that... Uh, um, uh, you, you have Krishnani Vegane Varo. Yes, yes, of course. And yes. then you have... It's meant to be followed by Jagatot Harana when she opens the mouth and she sees the, the entire world. Uh, 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 world inside. But she doesn't give a damn. She spanks him because she's his mother. You know, you have that, whack you may be a mom. god, but I'm your mother in this house. Yes. You listen to me. Whack, 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 no sleep in butter. <laughs> right. So it's, it's a very, you have a very playful, we're not a God-fearing people, we're a God-loving people. Loving, yeah. And God and you have to. One right. And, and you know, if you go to Kashi, if you go to Banaras, you look at the culture out there. Shiva is not this god to be feared. I have literally seen people go there and give galis to the god. Like even the sadhus out there will be khusre basadike. When they bless you, you touch their feet, they'll be khusre basadike. I have seen people go up to the temple and go abuse. Shiva left, right and center say, Haram Zadeh, I have done this puja, you have not done it to me, you are this, you are They have, he is a family member out there. Yes. You know, you, you don't, uh, it, it's a very nice, it's a sort of warm. Well, you know, there's a culture of Ninda Stutis also, right? Com com yeah, absolutely. Ninda Stutis, where they criticize and they so, uh, literally chide the which, which, which you're meant to. It's, yes. it's part of the religion to do all of that. So, you know, when I, I won't describe myself completely as a charpak because, you know, for me, even Nastika takes its validation in the Hindu system from the Vedas. So you look at the Nasadiya Shukta, that is where, you know, it, it's, for me, the Rig Veda has always been our Treaty of Westphalia. Right. Where we came together, they signed the Treaty of Westphalia in 1640 something. We signed it about 3000 BC where we decided, you know, we are accommodating all of you. It starts off with the War of the Ten Kings where you go to war because some tribe amongst you isn't even reciting the, uh, the shlokas properly. And you end with, is there even a God? <laughs> so, you know, you accepted that each weirdo has his right to be weird mm -hmm. and you can do whatever you want. It's it's. For me, Hinduism is really a state of mind, but I am very much a Hindutvavadi because the two things about Hindutva, one is the ending of social discrimination. And the second is creating a political unit, a political advocacy unit for that Hindu, for all the weirdos of the world, <laughs> uh, is a very, very good thing. Right? So like Kushal, I can't stand their economic platform. But if you notice, I never criticize the RSS. I'll keep abusing the BJP, but see, the BJP wants my vote. 
Therefore, I can spit on you. The RSS has never asked me for anything. They only serve. So if they don't ask you for anything, you don't have the right to criticize them. You help them where you can, and that's about it. Very true. Very true. You know, I would just like to add something over here. You know, sometimes people wonder what binds all three of us because we are clearly very different, distinct people. And I'll tell you what binds all three of us. What binds three of us is this love for our society. That's what, because we are very different personalities. As you can see, Abhijit can dance a little bit, but we cannot. Clearly a fascinating dancer. Yes, but so the one common thing all three of us have is, which we figured out in the long run is all of us are vehemently anti-casteism. That's the common recent, like we, all of us, we hate it with a passion. Like it comes out very strongly in all three of us. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.